Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween, Halloween is officially here. You've arrived. Welcome. Anyway, if you love Halloween and creating costumes and cosplay and all this as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating the iconic original mistress of the dark elvira let's get started here's our elvira costume now this costume i already had my mom used to actually dress up as elvira a lot during halloween it was one of her favorite costumes to wear unfortunately i'm a little bigger than her so i did not fit into her original costume so i created this one using a dress that i found at the thrift store it was originally just a long sleeve long dress it's a stretchy material and it didn't have a slit in it or anything i actually cut a slit in it it was a boat neck i made it into a v-neck and i actually uh, sewed these sleeves on and created this sort of bell sleeve using an old witch's costume i bought for like a dollar at a garage sale the belt is my mom's that you know that's stretchy so that fits me i'm gonna wear a corset and here's the shoes and the wig is incredible this is actually a really good wig i found online amazon now they're not all good there's a lot of really crappy elvira wigs out there so i'm going to put which one i bought here so that you can buy the right one you know how synthetic wigs are they get tangled and nappy and this one looks really good and for what i paid for it which was like 20 dollars last year you can't beat that I'm gonna wear some black sheer hose, and that's it. Let's get started. It's makeup time. Regular makeup today. I'm going to use my Kat Von D. It's very fair and pasty, and that's what we're going for. So, I've got some powder. This is just some Airspun. I'm gonna try and use this to make myself look a little more fair. I'm pretty fair anyway, but she was very fair. She was a very fair lady. Elvira was played by Cassandra Peterson and she was kind of, if, if we've got some younger viewers out there, uh, well, you may not know who Dr. Paul Bearer is either, but she was kind of like the female version of Dr. Paul Bearer. She was mistress of the dark. She had a TV show that consisted of her basically hosting scary movies. She was in scary movies herself. Not scary, it was more campy and funny she was very I don't know she, it was more of a comedic performance with her uh, than scary same with Dr. Paul Bearer they were very similar a very similar style they had so if you're looking for a couple's costume you could go as Dr. Paul Bearer and Elvira I think that would be really cute but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm just gonna get started with my foundation I've got a couple different uh, palettes here that I'm going to be using for the eyeshadow. She wears blue and pink eyeshadow. So I'm going to use a blue and pink eyeshadow. You're going to need a white cream pencil or white pencil liner. Of course, you're going to need black liner. I recommend black liquid liner. And you're going to need some eyelashes. I got some crazy ones for this one. These are the eyelashes I just got. So. Cassandra Peterson, I think I watched an interview with her at one point, and she actually said that she would stack her eyelashes. Maybe they didn't have crazy ones back when she was doing the show, but she would stack them. She'd wear like three or four pair, and that's how she achieved that, you know, heavy eyelash look. If you haven't already noticed, I am wearing blue contacts. My eyes are not blue. <laughs> the struggle is real with contact lenses for me. I have two cats. <laughs> Maceo and Nico and I can't pass them by like if they're just laying there all cute and stuff I can't pass them by without snuggling them for a minute like I just have to go up and like have to cuddle them and kiss them and pet them <laughs> it's bad it's, it's a habit that I have so <laughs> I'll go to put my eyelashes on and I'm looking at my hands and like they're covered in cat hair because I was just you know, petting my kitty cat. So, <laughs> so they're always just a little irritated at first. I can't help it. They're so cute, especially my little Maceo. 
My little boy is Maceo. He's turning five next month. I'm gonna get him a toy, a new toy. He loves his toys. You've probably seen Maceo in some of my videos. He's in one of my thumbnails. I think it's the Whispering Souls Cemetery thumbnail. He's a big old kitty and he's real fluffy and furry. <laughs> he's a long haired black and white tuxedo and he is so sweet. All right, foundation applied. Oh, I've got to show you the cutest thing I got from CVS. <laughs> you know, I don't even use these things, but <laughs> it's a little ghosty and I had to have it. And it glows in the dark. He's so cute. Uh, I'll act like I'm using it. <laughs> these things just don't work as good as my hands for me. But it's so cute. He's made by Wet n Wild, if you wanna go get one. They have them at CVS, they probably have them at Walgreens. This is a pretty easy makeup, it's not bad. If you know how to do winged liner, we're gonna be doing a dramatic wing. This is just regular old air spun like grandma used to use. <laughs> Let's start with our eyebrows. Just doing a regular brow, pretty much, using my own brow and just shaping it a little bit more with the black. Just like that, a regular brow. So I have my Tamix Revolution palette. There's gonna be, <laughs> these are coming from two different palettes. This is from Target, I think it was 15 bucks. And it has all these colors in it, bright colors. And it's pretty decent for cheap makeup. So I'm gonna use this blue color here. And then I have an Affiano Neon Luminous Glitter palette. And I have a pink in here that I'm gonna be using. It's kind of like a neon pink right there. So she has blue on either side and then pink running straight up through the middle, all the way up to the brow. It's kind of like a fashion no-no, but that's her, you know? The lady was a tramp. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she was just kind of a fashion faux pas, I guess you can say, or a little trashy, but it worked. Cause like I said, her content was campy and funny and kind of corny, really. <laughs> but it was like the 80s, so. Wood cap just keeps sliding off. That drives me nuts. You know what's the worst is when you have your wig on and you're like out in the day and you can feel it like starting to <laughs> like come off underneath the wig. It's the worst. I don't know if you've ever had that happen, but it sucks. When they start getting wore out, the wig caps, they start losing their elasticity and then they start just doing that. But I've got a whole bucket of wig caps over here, so I'm good. <laughs> Every time you order a wig, it comes with a wig cap, so that's kind of cool. And we know I've ordered a lot of those. So this is the design. You got blue on either side. We're gonna have pink going straight up through the middle. And when my mom always did her Elvira, my mom was funny. She never took off her makeup. She slept in it. She didn't ever wash it completely off. You would never see my mom with no makeup, ever. Nobody ever did. And she would never do this because in order to do this, I'd have to take off her makeup and redo it. And she wasn't having that. <laughs> so I did her makeup every year for Halloween. So I would go over there and just do basically the winged liner on her with the little bit of white there in the center. I miss that, you know? This time of year is tough. All the holidays are coming up. My mom really was the holidays, you know? Holidays were a big deal to her. She always had her house decorated. She always dressed up for the holidays and not having her around, it's just like, holidays don't exist anymore. They just not, they don't feel the same and they never will again. So kind of sucks. I used to do a lot for Halloween. I used to go and do her makeup. I'd run and do mine and I'd be competing in all the contest that I could go to and trying to make some money. I think the most I ever made in a weekend was like $1,200. And I won like several contests. <laughs> but it was like $1,200, a bottle of wine, a gift card, you know, it was like several things. So the cash was $1,200. And then I had like a whole basket of goodies of other things from different contests that I went to. But I don't do that anymore. I don't really do anything on Halloween anymore. Halloween's all year round for me. I do this for you, and that's my Halloween. So, that's kinda 
where I'm at now in, in my life, but I'm happy with it. Halloween is a day to relax for me usually. Now this year, you know, I have this job at the assisted living facility and they do a whole Halloween event. So I've created a really awesome menu and we're doing uh, meatball subs, but they're going to be eyeball subs. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> and uh, I piped on little ketchup blood vessels for, uh, on the eyes. They're just meatballs. They're, they're going to be a sauced meatball covered with provolone cheese, you know, melted over the top. And then I'm just piping on a little bit of ketchup for the blood vessels on the eyes sliced black olives for like the pupil and everything and then a little mustard uh, just a little dash of mustard right in the center to give it to make it look like an eye but it's really cool <laughs> they're giving me that creative freedom that i love so much and we're gonna have a pasta salad with that and cut root vegetables that are going to be fried and lightly salted uh, they're going to be cut into shapes of like ghosts and coffins and bats it's really gonna be cute but they do like a hayride thing there and with the residents and have like a whole little event and so i'm gonna go to that and that sounds really fun so now i'm going in the center with my pink that is wild this is a nice pink oh. mm. i have done elvira before because i had the costume already from my mom. I couldn't wear her dress, like I said, but I did her like two years ago. I think it was the first year. It was right before I started doing the channel is when I did her, I think. Now we're going to do our winged liner. Now with this, we're going to do, we're going to go kind of down because it's actually on the top and the bottom. Kind of like that. Just below where the corner of your eye is, you're going to leave a little negative space there and then just have the rest of it meet up with your other line, with the line on your upper lid, I should say. This is a pretty easy makeup, and it's so trashy and awesome. <laughs> and she's iconic. Um, even newer generations know who Elvira is, so you're not gonna have any problems with people knowing who you are, so. That's another cool thing, all these iconic celebrities are great costumes to do because it really takes the guesswork out of you know who you actually are so you want to have that little bit of a point there with the negative space we're going to fill that in with white as soon as i get my uh wing here perfect i'm gonna do that on the other eye and then we'll be ready to do our white giddy up boom ba boom ba ba mow mow what do you think that's just our eyes and they're not even done yet so i think i'm already looking like her so we've got our white pencil we're going into our negative space that we've created here and filling in with the white. Now I gotta look again real quick because I can't remember if she actually did her waterline with black or white. So I'm gonna have to figure that out real quick. All right, there that is. Her waterline is actually not lined at all. So this is it for the makeup as far as that goes. I'm just gonna put a little mascara on and then I'm going to get my eyelashes on. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my blush on, my lipstick and all that, and then lastly, I'll put my eyelashes on and get my costume on and we'll be ready to go. Well, we're not going anywhere, but you know what I mean. I'm using a pinky blush because, like I said, she's very, <laughs> she's very trashy, so. Remember pink? Pink blush was like a real big thing in the 80s. Everybody had pink blush. But it kind of looked, it kind of looked a little trashy because it was fake looking, you know? And today we use, what do we do? We do contour and browns and, you know, things that look more natural. But back then it was like the bold pink blush. I have some brown liquid liner. She had a mole just under her eye. 
I have one on this side, but hers was over here. So we're gonna do that before I forget. It's very small. <laughs> this is the brown ultra liner, what I always use. I went and got fresh this morning because let's just face it, I terrorize my black liquid liner during the Halloween season. <laughs> It was just rough, so I went and got new, and it feels so good. I'm going to line my lips and put my lipstick on. I'm probably going to go with the Give lipstick from Gwen Stefani. It's a really bold red. It's called Original Recipe. Here's the Give that I'm going to be using for my lips. My dad is not a fan of the sexy costumes, and I have to say, neither am I. <laughs> I don't really do sexy costumes usually, but Elvira is iconic. She's somebody that you can do very easy, and even if you have to order a costume online, the online costumes aren't bad for Elvira. They're actually okay. They're halfway decent. Time to get our costume on. All dressed up and ready for photos. See you soon. so much for joining me again today again this is an iconic look that everybody's gonna love Elvira especially the men folk I'm sure they'll love it your boyfriend your husband your significant other they're especially gonna love it if you haven't already please remember to like subscribe and share the video and I'll see you next time happy Halloween